Okay. I don't know what you can see. He's probably going to bail. I think that's a stork. I don't think it's a gull. I don't know. I'm not a bird guy. So this storm drain, rainwater runoff runs into that little thing that captures water. I remember that now. And the water from the uh, water, whatever plant, where they recycle it, comes out over there, a little waterfall. So I come down here, right behind him. I look into the water and I see a two foot long red and black koi. I got a dummy in there. Hey, dum dum. So I can't really see, but look at how dirty the water is. It's not this clear, but you know, koi love this because that murky crap they can get out in the middle and it doesn't get that hot so they're they don't mind this water so i'm thinking well what idiot would put you know fish in here and as soon as i get down here right there it was giant it was two, at least two feet long of course i won't be able to find them now but see look at that guy in the bush the bush is there i don't know what the hell he is those are ducks. I know that. That's a the dude, and that's a another type of waterfowl. But gosh dang, where did that fish go? It was a monster. And I'm thinking, people are that dumb. Idiots. I mean koi is not they're not cheap. But this guy, if I lived up here. I would be fishing for that saw again every day until I got it and then I put it in some pond. Not here. Look how dirty it is. Maybe my rich aunt and uncle that are having a house built up here can uh, get a pond built and then I'll come here and get the friggin' I'll just you know grab it with a a net, but it, he's quick. He got spooked. Look at this guy. He doesn't care. Apparently, he's used to people. So let's just go back. See, there's the artificial waterfall. Dang, man, this water is filthy. But I went out to a koi farm because <laughs> there was a time where I was thinking about getting a koi pond. And uh, this is the, what the water looks like because they're in the middle of the desert. They're outside of Barstow or outside of, uh, I can't remember. It's by Barstow. And it's a koi farm and they got these big, way bigger, about as big as this. Bye. He's like, I'm getting out of here. That bald human is tripping me out. So there he goes. So there, flying bird. See if, he, but see that guy was so bright, you'd be able to see him in this water, because I saw him clearly, and he was like right here. I'm like, what the hell is? I thought it was some weird piece of trash floating around. No, it was a giant red and black spotted. Koi, and it was about two feet long. Huge, like a monster. Of course, he's not going to come back now. But I'm thinking, if one idiot has thrown one in here, or at least two, they're going to—they're going to have a ton of them in here soon. I don't know if koi make good eating. They're, I think they're like carp. So I guess you could eat them. They're like pretty carp. Think they're from like their like car. See, so there is that's supposed to catch all the rainwater that comes down, goes into that. They used to love this place. So you can see the watermark, and you can see the alkali. So it should be hitting that tree. 
which is right below this. So this is really, they're not pumping it up because this could fill up in one or two, you know, thunderstorms. But they ain't going to get no thunderstorms. I think they had one or two already, and that's, they weren't much. So, so now I know why my, well, my cousin that moved to, you know, the one that married Galloway, he, uh, she, uh, they, uh, moved at, to outside Branson, Missouri. So they probably got some log cabin out there for $20,000, and, hey, you know, whatever. Cool. If you like it, go for it. There's no way in Hades I'd live in Missouri. Well, I can't find it, but if I do, I'll turn the camera on. Otherwise, you're going to get me yammering for a bazillion hours. Okay. Bye.